Hi, Liz from Youngsters World. Just going to have a quick look because I've had quite a lot of requests regarding the Joy I Spin seat. Um, this is an eye size tested 360 swivel seat. Now, Joy do two spin seats in that. Well, they do more than two, but the two most common are the Joy Spin and the Joy I Spin. The Spin is the older legislation, the R44 testing, and this one is the new eye size version. So to fit it um, onto your Isofix points, it is just like most normal Isofix bases where you click them onto the points until the lights go green on both sides and then you push it back firmly. You then will adjust your leg to the floor. Um, it's got little feet at the bottom here and then you need to adjust it so that the indicator here is green. Then it is fitted into your vehicle. To make the seat spin, on the eye spin, it has the button on the side here. On the spin, the button is actually under the seat at the front. So some people do find that the eye spin is easier to get to the spinning feature because it's on this side rather than tucked at the front, especially if your seat is quite close to the back of the car. I'm just going to spin it round. So the idea of the spin seat is that it makes it easier for you to load baby in and out. So if you've got a bit of a bad back, when they get to that age where they're kicking off and you want to just sort of get them in, it's much easier to do it face on. So these seats are suitable from birth to around four, but it gives a size and it's actually 105 centimetres because it's an eye size seat. So 105 centimetres is your size for this seat. And there will be a maximum weight of 18 kilograms on it as well. Um, you have to keep your baby, with because it's the eye size legislation, you have to keep your baby rearward facing to 15 months. But it's tested rearward facing to four. Now, I don't know whether you heard, as I did that then, and I adjusted the harness, these little sides popped out. And there's one on each side. And the idea of these is they are taking away the forces when you have an impact. So if you have a side impact... Uh, a side uh, crash and the forces will hit that first and it takes away a lot of the energy before it actually hits baby in the seat so just spinning this round again lots of um padding in here so from birth you'd have all your padding in like that and as baby grows you can take these cushions out and they come apart so you can use the head support you can just use that piece in if you want to and take the cushions out as baby grows there's another one under there when it we recommend that you keep a baby rearward facing as long as possible so we would ideally up to four but as a minimum 15 months but if you do decide you wish to put baby forward facing you can do and then as they grow this headrest comes up and you can see you've got a really good position there um i think that's it just a very basic overview of the spin i spin seat unfortunately I haven't got a spin here but if you want us to do a video on the spin seat, then please let us know. Thank you.